been in trouble with the law since the day they was born. Yes, they were. Hey, welcome back to the channel and to the movie series. I am Hearst Quasar. You are in the presence of Quasar's Customs. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, we are working on some TV show uh, cars. And actually, Dukes of Hazzard was actually a movie as well, I believe. Um, a remade movie, I believe it was, much like Starsky and Hutch was. But, uh, yeah, we decided to do a few TV shows. So we are going to do the Dukes of Hazzard. Uh, probably one of the most iconic chargers ever to grace the television screen, right? Um, I, I don't know of any other charger that probably is uh, more famous than this orange beast right here. Um, I couldn't tell you. I, I, I used to watch this show all the time. And um, right now I cannot tell you one episode. <laughs> um, all I can remember, you know, I, I've, I've browsed YouTube several times and just I... Always like watching this car jump for whatever reason. I, I'm, I've been in, I've been one of those kind. I'm one of those kind of guys that likes watching those silly road rage videos where you have car crashes and road rages and, um, um, you know, accidents caught on the dash cam. You know, I like watching that. Um, and I like watching any movie or any show that has a whole lot of jumping in it. Like, uh, do you remember Fall Guy? Fall Guy was a big movie uh, that uh, featured AD, I believe he's a detective, um, drove this four-wheel drive GMC, and he, that thing, he was jumping that thing all over the place. Um, back to Dukes of Hazard, though. We are talking about Bo and Luke Duke that love driving this thing all over Hazard County in Georgia. Hazard County being a fictional county in Georgia. Hazard County does not actually exist. Um, but yeah. They've been in trouble with the law, right? So they can't carry guns. I don't think they can have ammo. So they they supplement their weaponry with bow and arrow. Right? Now, bow and arrow alone isn't isn't all that great, but guess what? You strap a piece of dynamite to the end of an arrow and you shoot it across, you, you know, you shoot it across the way into somebody's yard or into somebody's house or into somebody's car. And guess what you got? You got yourself a nice big explosion. And this is what Bow and Luke would do. They couldn't use guns. So they used bow and arrows all the time. That was their weapons. Um, outside the car itself being, you know, their main weapon, getaway or getaway car, so to speak. Um, but yeah, man, uh, it was this was something I'd like to. I, I loved watching all the time. Not to mention Daisy Duke. Now, sorry, but Daisy was. That's where you got the. That's where we got the phrase Daisy Duke shorts. Oh yeah, it was from her. Um, she was played by Catherine Bach, and oh yeah, she was. She was something else. Um, what was I doing here? Oh, I was looking at brakes here. Oh, I needed one caliper. Right, 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 okay. So if you've watched Dukes of Hazards, give me a, give me a hell yeah down below and let me know, uh, what your favorite episode was. Um, I can't say that I have a fa favorite episode. Um, I, I just like them all, to be honest with you. I, um... I, I just liked watching the show. I liked waiting to see the car jump. It's almost like me watching NASCAR. If I'm watching NASCAR, I like to watch NASCAR just to see the wreck. I'm watching, waiting for the wreck. So, you know, the big speedways, I'll, I'll be, um, the super speedways, I'll be watching with intent, waiting for somebody to wreck. Am I awful or what? Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, these guys are in Hazard Hazard County, Georgia. Uh, like I said, it is a fictional, uh, fictional place. But um, yep, they're raising hell with their uncle Jesse. Their uncle Jesse is, uh, you know, some old fart that's supposed to be um, taking care of them. 
Yeah, he's doing a real good job. These these clowns are running around Hazard County just raising hell. Um, yeah, he's doing really good at it. Um, I don't remember, you know, a finale for this show either. Uh, for whatever reason, I just don't remember it. Um, but, I mean, having the car itself is... Uh, is an iconic piece for uh, this series, movie series. Well, movie slash TV show series. And I do believe they did make a movie. Um, I know they remade it. And I believe, I actually believe they remade it with a uh, an American flag on the hood. Or on the, on the roof. Um... Man, I'll have to look that up now that I'm thinking about this. You know, I'm sitting here talking to you guys about it. Um, I think they remade it when they did it. They would do it with an American flag on the roof just because um, the Confederate flag just, you know, raises so much. Um, it raises a lot of discussion. How's that? Um, I, for one, understand it. Uh, but... It was a time in period, time and place and period that um, we should not forget, because if we forget, we would fail and fall back into it. That, that's my philosophy on it. You know, you learn from your mistakes and your in your and um, the issues and history will not repeat itself. If you forget about it and you just let it go, um, then it history will repeat itself. So, you know, I, I understand there's a lot of heartburn with it. So I believe that's why they put the American flag on the um, the one in the movie. I really want to say that. I'm going to have to look that up now. But now that I'm in the middle of this, I can't. I don't really want to do that. So if you guys have any information on it, please. Feel free, drop me a line down below. Set me straight. Um, I'm just a guy sitting here putting together cars and just giving you some jib jab. Is it jib jab? Yeah, jib jab. I mean, come on, Daisy Duke, really? All right, so with these, um, um, with the General Lee, there are a few things we need. Oh, I need to put... Uh, let me grab myself a a quick fuel pump while I'm thinking about it because that needs to go in before I forget because I'll probably sit here and you know I, I will take this over to the dyno and they'll say ah that's not the one I wanted uh, I'll take it over to the dyno and I'll say car can't start car and I'll be like what the hell did I do and I'll forget all about it so let's put the Nice fuel pump in. Um, let's dump the crap we don't need. Okay, we are running 17s on the back of this, and they look pretty dang big. Um, what's running up front here? I think these are 16s up front. Let me see real quick. Nope, they're 17s too, so we are going to go with a full set of 17s on there just to make it look good. Um, I don't think it looks bad with the 17s, uh, but we're not going to use these wheels. No, no. No, no. Um, looking at the cars and looking at the wheels that we have, I think the closest set we have is ones I've used before um, on previous builds. Right here we go is something like this right here or this right here um let me take another quick look i think it's uh i believe it's about as close um dang um let's see not really that either but I mean no not really that one either uh, 
So yeah, they're they're kind of tough to try to figure out a, a good set of wheels to put on here, um, because they are the the black style with the um, with the aluminum on it. That's just too much. Um, that's not it. Um, so I was hoping for something black. So he he has these on here. I think Dodge Charger owns this this mod. Unfortunately, it's not available right now, but um, um, he owns this mod. And I mean that really doesn't work. That really doesn't work either. Either does that one. Um, all good rims, but they're just not working out. Um, the way I think it should work out. So. I think what we are going to do is we're going to go down here. We're going to grab um, this set right here. We're going to go with these. So let's go ahead and go ahead and pick up four of these in a 17 inch. And let's see. The, the rear tires were huge on this. Um, I am thinking... We're going to go with a, uh, let's see here. What do we want to do with this? I'm going to go with the race tire, two, they're going to be 17s. Um, let's go to the 295. Try a 50 profile. Let's see what this looks like. I'm just kind of guessing it out right now. I'm not going to paint them, so that might that might do okay on the back. That might do okay on the back. We'll see what it looks like once we get it on the car, but um, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, it, this being an orange car. Okay, so the Hazard Boys, right? If you didn't want to be uh, noticed, wouldn't you like paint the car camouflage? Not Hunter Orange. Doesn't make any sense to me. Hunter Orange, you stand out like a sore thumb, man. They know where you're at. Alright, um, wow, that looks humongous, um, uh, what was, what was the front tires at? 295, no, 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 they were 215s, wow, um, yeah, that looks a little humongous. Still. Uh, so what do we want to do here? Uh, let's knock this down to a... I think we could probably knock it down to a 40 and get away with it, to be honest with you. Um, Alright, let's separate these. I apologize, I apologize. I should have I, I should have tested these out. And usually I do before I jump onto the video, but... The one thing I couldn't stand about the, the television series is the comic relief of uh, the sheriff, right? Uh, what was his name? Roscoe P. Coltrane. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Just could not stand that dude. Um, uh, let's go with the sport tire instead. I think it probably looks a little bit better. We are going to still go with the 295. Go with the 295, and we'll go with a we'll go with a 40 profile, a little bit lower profile, and uh, a different type of tire. So 
Uh, race tire, race tire, sport tire. 50. Yeah. We'll go with a 40, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks more like a, a regular tire on there. Um, yeah, I think that's, that'll be pretty cool. All right, now that we are underway here, let's dump off these tires so I don't forget them for something else. Jeez. 31540s. Man, those things were huge on the back. Just simply huge. Yeah. I could not stand the whole Roscoe P. Coltrane Sheriff of the Hazard County because he was so stupid. I mean, it's one thing to to be ignorant, but this guy was just downright idiot. He was just a downright idiot. I didn't like it. I didn't like Boss Hog either. I mean, they could have given the guys a, a few more brains. I mean, come on. I think Daisy Duke had more brains. Actually, I, I think the farm animals on Uncle Jesse's ranch had more brains than um, these two clowns. Yeah, it looks that looks a little better. I think we may go with that all the way around. What do you think? Yeah, it doesn't stick out as wide, but that's fine. Because, I mean, it is a... Almost a stock charger. Back years ago, when this was this show was really big, um, I read a, a television or um, I read an article about um, a, young, uh, a man and his family was driving along uh, some interstate in California, I believe it was, and um, he he and his son used to watch Duke's Hazard all the time. Well, as they were on this highway, they happened to uh, see this uh, truck carrier full of wrecked General Lees, right? I mean, the General Lees were just trashed. They were probably coming from the movie studio, and they were just trashed. And it was a, you know, a, a tractor trailer full of these cars. And he said his son cried so hard because the car had, there were so many of them and he was, they were all wrecked. And he, his son cried because all the General Lees were wrecked. I was like, oh, that's, that's, that's sweet. I mean, the, the young boy was like into cars altogether. I mean, who doesn't like, who doesn't like a Charger? I, I mean, I'm a GM guy, right? But when you're looking at a Dodge Charger, the older Dodge Chargers, you can't help but just admire them. And I, I think that's just old school muscle. I mean, I like the old Mustangs. I like, I just like the old muscle cars. Uh, but the Chargers always had, the Chargers and the Roadrunners have always had uh, had my heart uh, for some reason, just because I just like the way they looked. They looked mean. They had that aggressive front end. And uh, I, I don't know. I just love them. Never owned one, to be honest with you. Probably never will in this lifetime. Um, have a Camaro, and that's about it. If I was a millionaire and had like a 24 car garage, you would bet your ass I'd have a whole lot of cars. <laughs> no doubt. There's no doubt there at all. Okay, because seeing as how that looks pretty good on the front, well, I think we're going to go with the same... Well, we'll go a little narrower on the... Go a little narrower on the front. Um, we went with the sport tire, didn't we? Yep, yeah, we'll go with two. Those are going to be 17s. We'll put 295s on the back. So let's go with that 235 up front, and we'll go with a uh, 45 profile. Um, a little bit taller profile on it just because I'm going a little thinner. Um, so we'll do that. Okay, so I know there's certain things I'm going to already know. I'm already going to need, so I might as well just break right into it right now. A um, couple of those. A couple of these. This car is in pretty bad shape. and Well, the story behind... Um, story behind how it's all primered up in gray right 
Alright, so I, I guess you're wondering, you know, where did I get this car? Because it looks like it's partly done. Well, it kind of is. Um, and it kind of had to be. Because I had to test fit delivery for it. The General Lee livery. Um, there was one floating around out on the internet. Um, and one in the Steam Workshop, I believe. But it was for the 68 Charger DLC. Uh, was it for that one or was it for, it might have been for the 70 charger and this is the 69. So it was for one of the other chargers. It, it may have been for the 68. I believe it was for the 68. Um, so I, I took it and I had to manipulate it and do some stuff to, to get it to fit on the 70 here. So when I did that, I needed a test car, and well, this one was my test car, so I had to figure it out and slap it on there. Now, I'm, I'm not going to provide delivery in the write-up down below, sorry, um, just because this car is not available on the Steam Workshop, um, as of today anyway. If it does become uh, available, please, by all means, come back, hit me up, let me know. And I will be more than happy to share my livery with you. And the only reason why I'm not going to share it now is because it just doesn't make any sense to do it. And I don't think I have space on my Dropbox account either. I have to look at that too. Holy cow. All that stuff is just... I think I need a steering rack. Um, all this stuff is starting to cost money. I'll tell you what. Um, one of the things is um, my hard drive is getting full with all these videos. So I'm going to have to transfer some going to have to transfer some videos off my hard drive onto something else uh, just to free up some space man um, oh I need I need a cylinder let's pick up a cylinder let's go back in here and pick up a cylinder there we go um, what else do we need um, we got uh, let's get these shocks going Did I get that other tire yeah And something about the song lyrics on this. If you ever listen to the theme song of this, I will tell you this. I always thought there was a phrase in the song. Um, they said, making their way the only way they know how, right? Um, then it goes to say, that's just a little bit more than the law will allow. I always thought that that line wasn't, I didn't think the word was that. I always thought it was life. Life's. So instead of that's just a little bit more, I thought it was life's just a little bit more than the law would allow. You know, so I was like, I always thought it was, I always thought it was, should have been life, right? Life is always just a little, that, you know, life's more than what the law would allow, which makes a whole lot of sense to me. But, uh, I was totally wrong on that. I don't even know why I was telling you guys that. I was just, I was, I was happened to think about that um, when I was putting this together. Yep, I did need a steering rack. Yay me. Um, bearings, yeah. Man, this 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 front end was in awful shape. Uh, so let's jump in here. We need a couple of bottom suspension arms. Um, we need a front axle cover, and need at least one upper suspension arm, I believe. I, did I cover all those bases? Two, got that. Oh, I didn't get the front wheel hub. Uh, uh. Okay. So I need a front wheel hub. All right. It's just money. Money going out the window. Front wheel hub. You know, and all I'm doing is throwing these cars in my parking level. So it's not like, you know, they're on display or anything. I always wanted to have uh, an expansion to my garage here to where you had a showroom. So, like, you could stick, you know, two, three max cars that you built as a showroom piece uh, right off the garage that you could see them from the garage. And... 
I always thought that would be a cool idea. Um, it would be nice. Um, I do see that the garages for like the 2015 version of this game, they look pretty cool. I like the idea of um, having cars in different angles all over the garage. I think that's, a, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. All right, so how many of you guys out there? Let, let's let's be frank. How many of you guys out there had fantasies of Catherine Bach? Right? Yeah, I bet. It's almost like Farrah Fawcett in the day. Farrah Fawcett um, was was super hot, and you know, I think every boy in America had her poster hanging up in their room. Um, of course, I didn't. I had parents that wouldn't allow that, but um, my buddy had her poster picked up, and oh yeah. She was one fine looking woman. So who didn't, who, I mean, who did not think Catherine Bach was hot back then? I mean, come on. Okay, okay, let's see what, how this looks here. And Uncle Jesse, just an old man, just kind of freaky. Um, yeah, I think that, I think that's pretty good. The stance is a little off on it. But that's okay. I know there's a, uh, this is not... Is this the, yeah, this is just a 69 Charger. There is one that I thought I had set up, but um, the stance will be fine. We are good with that. I'm sure you all are good with that as well. Um, if I were to make another config file, I would level out the body a little bit and uh, Just make sure it was... I would just level out the body a little bit just because it's the charger. This has got more of a rake to it. But that's fine. I'm good with it. You guys good with it? I'm good with it. Yeah, it's several times you see... You watch uh, the television shows. This, this Dodge Charger took a beating, right? Um... I have not read, you know, any t at any time. Where they were able to reuse the car after a jump, right? And I, I always liked watching or, or reading about um, car stunts and television shows and such. Um, I'd mentioned in the, earlier in the video Fall Guy. Now, Fall Guy had this GMC truck that they jumped all the time. And honest, honestly, um, there were several times that they had jumped that truck that they were able to reuse it again afterwards. Um, not, nothing wrong with it. And they, they would do a pretty good jump on it. Um, so, pretty impressive, I think. I actually like the rake on here a little bit more than I would a, uh, I mean, I like it. I mean, yeah, it's not Bo and Luke Duke like, you know, style, but, um, I'm good with it. Okay, let's dump off all these old pieces that I'm not going to need. Oh, look at that. Looky there. I missed the pushing. Oh, well, you know, I was, yeah, I was telling you that. You know, that's why the body looks like it's so intact on this. Just because I had to... I had to play around with the livery to get it to, to sit right. And I'm not even sure that it's... it's it's um, correct in many ways. It's really close. But I think the O1 on the side probably needs to be a little bit bigger. Um, I'll let you guys decide that when I get this thing down. Alright, I got, uh, window can come out, trunk is good, um, uh, take all the glass out, because we don't need any of the glass, let's see if I could take that out, any of this fit repairable, well, I thought the front end was going to be repairable, but man, that went awful quick, and I don't think it is. Well, we will find. We're going to find out here real quick if I can get my mouse. Ah, if I can get this to. Hey, look at that! It did work. I'll be damned. All right. Um. 
A rear bumper on here? Yeah. I think that's all I had for repairables. It needs light. What else was there? Uh, rear charger. Left fender, hey? Charger left fender. Oh. Left fender. It's it's the glass. All right. No no problem. I'm just going to buy all new so I don't get confused. Um, that's not a problem. Let's take care of some of this stuff here. Battery. Brakes. And as you can tell over here, I've just about got completely finished a motor for it. Um, oh. Damn, that didn't sound good, did it? That did not sound good at all. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to have to pick up a radiator for it. Um, but yeah, I piddled around with delivery a little bit, and I started building it. I actually had this halfway built and had it in my storeroom over, over here on the side. Um, and I found it. Um, last night and I drug it out and stuck it on the uh, st stuck it on the stand so I could use it today uh, I give myself a radiator Wow uh, battery and radiator All right, let's go ahead and put, yank this piece of junk out of here. Yeah, the rake doesn't look too bad, does it? Yeah, I mean, the rear end probably could be a little bit lower and the front end could be a little bit higher. I agree, but yeah, it's, it's good for now. Let me dump that engine and that radiator. No need to have any of that in there. Um, okay, let's deal with the... Okay, let's deal with the parts, shall we? Um... This is going to be interesting because I'm sure I'm not going to put charger in there because you get all sorts of pieces from the 70, the 68. Um, so let's see if 1969 pulls up a pulls up something. There's a Mustang. We have a Nova in here. Uh, 69 Charger. Uh, Got to be careful. Um, you know what? 69 Charger. Back window. I, I wonder if I can put a roll cage in it because I, I want a roll cage in it. So I'm going to try that out. Um. <clears throat> This one doesn't have a picture for it. Um, charger. Glass, charger, glass, charger, glass. Daytona, 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 Daytona. These are all Daytona pieces. Uh, we get down here to the 69 Charger front end. Uh, here we go. I need a front bumper for it. Maybe this, this is glasses. So let's go ahead and get these glasses. That front window. Got a hood on it. Tail lights. Uh, rear bumper we have. Left rear fender. Right rear fender we need. Uh, rear window. I, I don't think that roll cage is going to fit, boys. I, I wish it would, but it, I don't think it's going to. And then we get into the Mustang. Okay. So. Um, oh. Okay, we're going to go clear windows on this. Uh, I think we're going to go clear windows. Yeah? Yeah. We'll go clear windows on it. Um, let's see if I can get the... Oh, yes! I can put the... Oh, man. Does it have a roll cage in it? Ah, oh, Man. 
Oh, Dodge Charger. Oh, 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 where'd it go? I guess it doesn't have one. Oh, I was going to be so excited. I, was, I wanted a roll cage in it. Um, but I guess not. All right. That's okay. We're moving on smartly. We'll, we'll get these things. Um, yeah, these, these don't have, uh, a picture, so I'm going to have to fix that in the file. Um, okay. Why is... Why is there no window for that? Do you see that? Alright, so I think I got all that, and there's no window for that one? I take it? No window? Alright, let's move you back here. <laughs> let's move you back here for a second. Um, frame condition, global body condition is 100%, so... Wow. Um, whoa, that's kind of freaky. Okay, so that happened, right? Okay, so so if that's open, right? Here's the glass for it right back here. That is freaking weird. Okay, um, so we'll go ahead and replace that glass even though it's Oh, it's in the car. It's it's in there. All right, it fixed itself. Cool. All right. Um. Uh, wow, that's kind of strange. Okay, let's let's uh. <laughs> ah, wow. Super super weird. Okay, so charger. Let's get some charger seats in here. Is that the only ones that are in there? Um. Let's see if we have anything else in here. I thought there was uh, something similar to that, but with a little bit of a headrest. There's the Challenger ones, like these right here. Um, ah, screw it. Let's just put the Charger ones in there, right? Why am I debating it? I mean, let's put the real thing in there. And for the steering wheels, now that I've got the Mercedes DLC, the Mercedes DLC is hit. Um, I've got a few more steering wheels in here to choose from. Uh huh. So, here we go. That's the steering wheel I was looking for. This one came into play, and so did. I thought there was another one up here, but it, it throws my list off of what I'm used to seeing. Okay, well, it came with the charger seats anyway. That's good. All right. Okay, so how is the interior? Oh, I probably need to run the... Uh, uh, i got to run a cleaner on it. That's probably what I need to do. Let's go ahead and do this too, because I'm not sure if I've got everything. Um, I believe I do. I think it said 100% on that, but uh, just double check. I'm going to run the welder over it. Make sure. Clean up the interior. Now we're 100%. Now we got to get the uh, engine taken care of. Let's uh, pop the hood on that. Let's bring you back over. Okay, so what does this gem need? I need uh, spark plug wires, I believe. I think I got plugs in there. Um, uh, a couple of carbs and the air filter. So let's go digging. Uh, power boost shop. I need carbs. C-A-R-B. Um, I believe this is an A and B for the H. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think this has the, uh... Yeah, I don't think it has... Yeah, those are the wires I need. Um... What am I thinking? I don't, don't think it has the intake filter. Um, performance intake filter. So that's the base for it. Um, there's the cover for it. Let's go back up here to the air filters. I don't think it's F. It's got to be H. So we don't have, yeah, we don't have that available to us. So that's kind of bites, right? Yeah, finish this engine up in no time. I'm surprised I had it in in the uh, in the warehouse. It, you know, it, it'd be nice to have a couple more engines. I may have to do that uh, kind of long term. Build a few engines, put it in the war warehouse. That way, uh, I have them for videos. Um, that way, I'm not I'm not spending my entire time on an engine. Going back and forth trying to figure out how to put it together. Alright, and you are out of here. Ooh, isn't that a beautiful thing? Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm not sure if I'm like one of those guys that likes the red on the orange, to be honest, though. Um, I say it's beautiful, but it's a whole lot going on underneath there. Okay, let's shut you up. Put you in the air. Wait a minute. Does that? Did I have headers on there? Did I have it? Yeah, the headers are on there. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's, so let's go into the performance shop. We need a couple things. Uh, exhaust. Well, I don't know what I need for the exhaust. Hang on. Um. We definitely need a couple of the rears. And a couple of the mids, right? Uh, and what's up front? I'm not entirely sure on, but we are going to get a gearbox. Uh, what gearbox goes on this? I think it's an F gearbox. There we go. Uh, I don't believe I have a starter. So let's get a V8 starter hanging out there, and. I think we are just about done with this beast. Yeah, so I was saying about Daisy Dukes. If you ever hear that phrase, Daisy Dukes, which I don't know if you have or not. It might be an old thing. If you ever hear the, the phrase, she's got her Daisy Dukes on. That's where it came from. That's exactly where it came from. It's probably the shortest pair of shorts I've seen on TV. Uh, what are these? Seeds. Uh, and I don't think those are in the performance shop. Uh, we'll take a quick look. Nope. So, yeah, I've got to go with the regular crap. Um, got to go with the regular stuff here. Uh, exhaust. Pair of those. Alright, I don't know if I've got... I don't think I need anything else for this. Except for a paint job. And what I'm going to do is put the wrap on it. I have a wrap that goes on it. And then uh, try to match up the paint from there. Alright, uh, you 100% across the board? She is, not even with a license plate. I don't have license plates on here. Uh, now, they do have a... Uh, they do have some workshop... Um, um, what was I going to say? Workshop uh, items that will change your uh, uh, change your license plates I don't even know I'm losing my mind here it'll change your license plates um, but I'm not sure how that, that works so I don't mess with it too much so here we go General Lee 
I think we've got the uh, the orange is pretty close. Let's uh Oh, that's a crazy Larry. We have General Lee. And then we have none. General Lee. None. I've got the color pretty close, so mark it down. You've got a 19, 100, and 100. So that's pretty close to the uh, the orange that I've got for this livery. So hopefully, if Dodge Charger ever decides to put this thing back out there, um, hit me up. I will... I will have the livery out there someplace. Um, I'll put it on this video so that you can download it. All right. All right. So we are going to come in here. We're going to see what kind of ponies this baby can throw down. Seven twenty nine, seven hundred twenty nine horses with uh, eight hundred thirty two pounds of torque. Nicely done, nicely done, Mr. General Lee. Very happy with you. All right, I hope you enjoyed the episode. We are getting out of the dino shop here. Did I leave anything behind in there? No. Um, everything good to go. Clean this stuff up. All right, so here we have it, the General Lee. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the episode. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Uh, give me your favorite. Uh, hell, just give me your favorite memory of the Dukes of Hazard. Um, love to hear from you. So, hope you guys enjoyed everything. Again, I will see you in the next video. This is Hearst Quasar. Keep customizing, guys. I am out.